Hey everyone, someone on Gitter channel recently asked, hey, I have this function called get user GUI, and I'm making a side request there to get the user object, and then from the response, I'm getting the user object and returning the user ID. And if it's not found, I'm returning a string user not found, but it always returns user not found. What's wrong? Let me answer this question and show how to actually write this function correctly. So I have kind of equivalent function, get to do, and you give a to do for a to do item, and it requests it from a REST API endpoint by saying to do's id, and then returns its body, and it returns to do not found. Now this is wrong. This example will not work. I'm just starting with that. And you know, it kind of shows it right here on the left. It shows that it's making requests, getting the body. I can open the DevTools and I can click on the request object. I see it succeeds. It yields a user uh, with ID and so on. Okay, nice. Well, but if, for example, I say, okay, um, should have property, let's say, ID, and I say one because that's what I passed to get ID, but this fails. And it fails saying should is not a function. So what's going on? Well, let's look at this function. What does it return? It doesn't return a Cypress command. It returns to do not found, right? So if I say, okay, expect to equal to do not found, this will be, right? our function returns a string. It doesn't return anything else. Okay, so we probably don't want to return a string. We probably want to return the Cypress chain of commands. So every Cypress command, if you run it like this as a parent, starts a chain of commands. Where is first command in the chain? When it finishes, it runs its command and then yields whatever it returns. And not only this is a chain command, this is actually queued up. So, you know, you can have previous commands before. You can have, I don't know, wrap something. So all these commands will be queued, then get to do those commands are queued, and then you, you can queue more commands right here. Okay, so they don't even run immediately. By saying side request, you're saying, hey, in Cypress, schedule side request to run when all possible previous commands have finished. Okay, so if we return side request, now we can say should have property, let's say ID equals one, because now get to do returns a Cypress chain of command. It will run side request at some point in the future. If it finishes, it will return the body all inside a Cypress wrapper, right? And that object, as a should, so it will take the body of response and write, run an assertion, should have properties. Perfect. Uh, what about this return? How do we handle a case if there is no resource? Well, in that case, we can say, okay, URL is this. And fail on status code should be false. And why is that? Well, because if we pass an invalid ID, right? something like this. We want to make sure that we don't fail side requests because the server will return 404 and side request automatically fails. The status code is not 200. So in this case, we don't fail. We still get the body. And I believe a body in this case equal is an empty object. That's what our server returns. But we also want to do something else here. When we finish request, we get the request uh, response object. If response status is equal to 404, that's when we want to return to do not found. Else return response body. So in this case, it's not deep equal anymore. Right? It's just equal to do not found. So if we call if we call our get to do with invalid ID that's not on the server, we handle it right here. And instead of an empty object, we return a string. And we can attach additional assertions, commands, and so on by making sure that from our utility function, we don't return a value. We return the actual Cypress chain of command. 